and welcome. Today we will see the examples of sphere. First one, find the equation of sphere passing through the circle. x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x plus 2z minus 2 equal to 0, y equal to 0 and which touches the plane y minus z minus 7 equal to 0. As we know that the equation of circle is given by two equations. One is equation of sphere and another one is equation of plane. Now we want to find the equation of sphere which passes through this circle. Equation of sphere passing through the circle is given by s plus lambda u equal to 0. That is x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x plus 2z minus 2 plus lambda y equal to 0. This is your equation number 1. This is your equation number 2. So this is equation number 3 and this is the required sphere. What is given? This required sphere touches the plane y minus z minus 7 equal to 0. Now to find this unknown lambda we will use the condition of tangency. First we will compare this equation with general form equation that is x square plus y square plus z square plus twice ux plus twice vy plus twice wz plus d equal to 0. If we compare this, you get 2u is equal to minus 2. That implies u equal to minus 1. 2v is equal to lambda. That is v is equal to lambda by 2. 2w is equal to 2z. That implies w is equal to 1. And d is equal to minus 2. We know the coordinates of center are given by minus u minus v minus w that is equal to 1 minus lambda by 2 and minus 1. These are coordinates of center of the required sphere that is 1 minus lambda by 2 and minus 1. Radius of this sphere is equal to under root of u square plus v square plus w square minus d. If we substitute the values u square that is minus 1 square is 1. v square lambda by 2 square is lambda square by 4. w square is 1. This minus sign and this minus will become plus. So you have radius equal to lambda square upon 4 plus 4. Now we find the perpendicular distance CP from point C to this plane. We will use the perpendicular distance formula that is equal to minus lambda by 2 plus 1 minus 7 upon under root of coefficient of y its square coefficient of z its square that is 1 square plus minus 1 square will get modulus of minus in bracket lambda by 2 plus 6 upon root 2 and if we use the tangent plane property that radius of the sphere is equal to length of perpendicular that is r is equal to cp this will gives you the equation under root of lambda square by 4 plus 4 equal to modulus of lambda by 2 plus 6 upon root 2 we will take squaring of this on both sides and if you solve the equation, you will get values of lambda as minus 4 and 28. Substitute value of lambda in equation 3 to find the required equation of sphere. We will get two sphere. First one is x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x plus 2z. Lambda h value if I substitute minus 4, it is minus 4y minus 2 equal to 0. This is one of the sphere and another sphere is x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x plus 2z plus 28y minus 2 equal to 0. These are the required sphere which passes through this circle. Now we will see the other example. We will take the second example. Find the equation of sphere which passes through the circle x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1, 2x plus 3y plus 4z equal to 5 and 
which intersect the another sphere x square plus y square plus z square plus 3x minus 3y plus 3z minus 56 equal to 0 orthogonal. Now for this we know the equation of sphere passing through the circle that is x plus lambda u equal to 0. In this case this is your sphere and this is your plane. Say so this are equation number 1, this are equation number 2. Therefore, the required sphere will be given by x square plus y square plus z square plus minus 1 plus lambda in bracket 2x plus 3y plus 4z minus 5u equal to 0. That is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 lambda x plus 3 lambda y plus 4 lambda z plus minus pi u lambda minus 1 equal to 0. This is the required sphere and they have given that this sphere intersect the another sphere that is x square plus y square plus z square plus 3x minus 3y plus 3z minus 56 equal to 0 orthogonal. So we will use the condition for orthogonality. First we will compare both this equation with general form equation. You will get 2 times u1 is equal to 2 lambda. That implies u1 is equal to lambda. 2 times v1 is equal to 3 lambda. That is v1 is equal to 3 lambda upon 2. w1 is equal to 2 lambda. And d1 is equal to minus 5 lambda minus 1. Similarly, if I compare this equation with general form equation, you will get u2 is equal to 3 by 2, v2 equal to minus 3 by 2, w2 equal to 3 by 2 and d2 is equal to minus 56. I will use the condition for orthogonality of two spheres that is 2 times u1, u2 plus 2 times v1, v2 plus 2 times w1, w2 equal to d1 plus d2. If you substitute the value 2 times, what is u1? Lambda into 3 by 2 plus 2 times v1 that is 3 lambda upon 2 into minus 3 by 2 plus 2 times w1 that is 2 lambda into 3 by 2 equal to d1 plus d2. d1 is minus 5 lambda minus 1 plus minus 56. And if you solve this equation, you will get value of lambda that is lambda is equal to minus 6. And if you substitute this value of lambda in equation 3, you will get the required equation of sphere that is x square plus y square plus z square Lambda is equal to minus 6. Minus 6 into 2 is minus 12x minus 18y minus 24z plus 6 into 5y 30. 30 minus 1 is 29. So it is plus 29 equal to 0. This is the required equation of sphere which passes through this circle and which intersects this sphere orthogonally. Thank you.